Hey guys, I'm Jillian and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be doing a hair urban design as we have here as a sample. If you want how to learn this, please keep on watching. So here are the materials we are going to use. A yarn, hook with 5mm, needle, scissor, and a book. Instead of using a clipboard, which is I don't have any here around me, book is another way we can use. In this video, I will show you how I can pull it through. First off, we will be using two strands of yarn. Each of them have five ply or strings. First stage is doing the slip knot. Now, I will be doing a chain. It might be hard to pull through yarn because it's so thick. Make sure to pull it through together and slow motion, it might be a help. I will chain up to 70 counts. When I reach 70, I will chain another 3 counts. I'm done chaining 70 counts. Now, I will chain another 3 counts. 1, 2, 3. On the 4th count backwards, I will start the double crochet. Chain hole, pull yarn over, pull through two, and another pull through two. Again to another chain. Chain hole, pull yarn over. You have three. Pull through two, you have two, pull through two. Then finish the remaining chain to double crochet pattern. We are almost done to our first single row double crochet pattern. Chain hole, pull over, pull over two, and pull over two again. When you're done, we will use a scissor to cut the excess yarn and then we will chain to lock it. By using the needle, we can hide the excess yarn from cutting a while ago. This is the best remedy to not get frowns from our ear bond.
After that, do the same to another tree. Just like on this video, we got 4 double crochet. We will use again the needle to sew the 4 double crochet and pull it through side by side. When done, clip it to something heavy. A while ago, I used a book as a sample instead of clipboard, but it seems it doesn't have much weight so I changed it to my nephew's toy, and it works. So now do the braided part. Put strand 1 over 2 and 3 over 4. Four over one and one over three. Two over four and three over two. Now you can see the pattern. Just pull the strands up so that it won't lose. Repeat simultaneously and then you just finish the braid. Hold the end and sew it using a needle. Just hold it tight and all over each other so that the braid is still in place. Do the same on the other side.
this is the wrong side and this is the right side the wrong side will be facing out because we still have to sew the ends and attach it together After sewing, lock the edges Lock it in double Cut the excess yarns And now, flip your earband and you're done! With hoopers, you can finally make your own earband design as many as you wish. So please click the like button below in this video and don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell to get more updates in our crochet samples and projects.